guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Benita. Here we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. Again, if you are new, we do videos twice a week. Usually on Wednesdays, we do a luxury video. And then on Friday, we do what we call a Fast Five Friday. If you think you would like it here, I hope that you would like and subscribe. It wouldn't hurt to turn on the post notifications, but without further ado, we're gonna get started. Now, before we get too far, we need to talk about this shirt. This is the Aritzia Babaton Knit, like crisscross shirt. Y'all, you really need this shirt. And I know you've seen it all over Instagram, you know, social media over the past, probably like year, because it's really not a new shirt. You know, I'm just usually late to the party because I don't hop on trends. This shirt is an easy classic. I've heard people talk about the Aritzia knits, like higher level, leveled up knit shirts and knitwear. Check out Aritzia. This is the most subtle, sexy shirt. I wore it in my mini date night vlog. Babe, totally loved it. I mean, I got so many compliments. You guys loved it. You need it. It's for all body types. I mean, it just sucks you in. It just, it's its good. It's good, good. Yeah, you definitely need a Aritzia knit shirt, even if you don't really necessarily like this shirt. Their knits are just top notch. Today, as you can see, we have a first impressions of a YSL bag today. And shout out to Bag Bar or Steel who have provided this bag for us. I am working with them as well over on Instagram, so make sure you are following me there. If you are not familiar with Bag Bar or Steel, it is a luxury subscription service where you can obviously borrow bags, you can purchase bags. They do have higher in pre-loved luxury items. Go back, watch those videos if you've never heard of luxury subscriptions, in particular, Bag, Bar, or Steel, and you can get all the information there. We are going to talk about the YSL, I believe this is the small envelope bag. All right, I talk about YSL often because I just really love the brand. I have been wanting this bag for a while. Well, there's actually about three YSL bags in kind of like the cross body flat bag genre if you will that i've been wanting to try and i don't do color color is not my thing but when i saw this bag on their site i said okay let me let me try let me get this bag in my hands i thought it was going to be too red but for some reason I just really wanted to try this bag regardless if it was red or not, but it's not. I hope that it is coming over well, but it is like a burgundy color with like purple undertones. So it is not red at all. It's more in the burgundy wine Bordeaux type family. You know that gold, I do not like gold hardware, in particular black and gold, but this, I'm not bothered by this. It's a little shiny for me, a little, um, I'm not sure if this is kind of like antique gold, but it's really gold. And so, not, not a fan of that. You know that I usually wear silver and platinum, so I don't really wanna clash, but with this bag, because it's so beautiful, I, I really don't care. So I have the bag for a month, and at the end of the month, I can either decide to go ahead and purchase the bag, or I can send it back. And that's the beauty of Bag Bar or Steel, that you can try a luxury items at a fraction of the cost, and you don't have to commit. Because I am so wishy-washy sometimes, especially with brands that I'm not really familiar with. And unfortunately, I do not have a huge amount of luxury shopping in my city. I have an okay Saks, and they get YSL bags in a lot. These bags, once they get them in, they, they quickly sell out. I only, you know, interacted with this bag a couple of times. Not enough for me to 100% want to pull the trigger. I go back and forth between the small size and the medium size, and I believe the large is too big. Let me just double check again what size this is. One moment. Okay, so on my paperwork, it's saying that this is the medium shoulder bag, but this looks kind of small to me. I, I'm thinking that the medium was a little bit bigger, but I'll just have to look at the measurements just to confirm. Um, but overall, first impressions, I love the bag. I absolutely, <laughs> I absolutely do. Um, I am typically a top handle girl, but crossbody shoulder bags 
they do have a place in my collection. I do need them for my lifestyle, but it has to be like the perfect one. Shoulder bags are really something that I don't naturally gravitate to, but I need them. I need them in my collection. I need them in my wardrobe. They do for sure fit my lifestyle, but I'm never running to buy a shoulder bag. I knew that I needed something that was a little bit more fancy. I needed something that I could use as a clutch. I needed something that would fit a lot of my junk because I carry a lot of stuff. Even when I downsize, I carry a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do a what's in my bag over on Instagram. So again, make sure you are following me there. But um, the bag overall is beautiful. There are tons of reviews on this bag so i won't do one i just wanted to get the bag in and confirm or deny if i love the bag and i do i love the bag i have got to have this bag in my collection the hardware on the bag is like screwed in the magnet is super strong because it has to be because this leather is really really thick i believe this is the metalase leather um and it is grained leather it has somewhat of a sheen on it, but it doesn't feel plastic. That is Louis Vuitton's problem for me. They're, they try to make their bags look um, shiny and whatever they put on them or whatever the process that they use for their leather, it turns the leather, it makes it thin and plastic. This is still thick. I mean, you can tell that there is something here, like maybe cardboard or something. Um, behind it to kind of keep it shape um, but it's still soft at the same time you could see over time there's gonna be you know creasing here so if any of you have this bag and you've had it for a while let me know how this has kind of weathered um, over time hopefully if there's cracking YSL will stand behind their product and they can have that fixed um, the back pocket, my phone can fit in here. I probably wouldn't use the back pocket because I wouldn't want to stretch it out over time. Just like with the Chanel um, double flaps, most people don't use these back pockets. But um, the quilting is beautiful, beautifully done. The chains, the chains are heavy. This bag is pretty heavy with all of my junk in it um, because the chains are very heavy and very substantial. I have seen this bag and tried it on with the matte black hardware, but a lot of people say that the matte black is just painted hardware and it does chip. So um, I probably would either do a color like this with gold, or I would do, definitely if I do black, it will be silver. So far, I only have pros to this bag. I mean, we're gonna do some mod shots in a minute. I can fit a lot in this bag. It looks beautiful. You know, I've seen them in black. I've seen them in brown. This is not patent leather, but I would consider it in like the patent leather family. Um, it's more shinier. It's pebbly at the same time, but it's shiny. It kind of reminds me of like the Chanel shinier caviar, um, like the vintage um, caviar. But yeah, this is this this is awesome. This is a beautiful, beautiful bag. I this has confirmed borrowing this bag. I've only had it maybe about five days, so I have it for the month. But borrowing this bag, I just know for sure that I'm gonna have to have this in my collection. So my decision now is, do I purchase this one or do I get another one? The actual style of the bag, the actual brand of YSL, is, I'm, I'm sold. I, I definitely have to have it. When you open the bag, it does stretch out. I mean, you can stretch and put a lot of junk in here. You also can use it as a clutch. I mean, I would play around with it to make this look a little nicer, but first impressions of the YSL small envelope bag, I'm definitely sold for sure.
All right, guys, well, that's it. I just wanted to pop on and talk to you briefly again about the YSL small envelope bag. Um, I absolutely love it. A lot of you have already told me that this is a classic, a great bag. If this is your first time seeing this bag or hearing about uh, Bag Bar or Steel, again, all information will be linked down below. And that is it. Have a great week. I'll see you on Friday. Bye.